Hi, I'm Ilya from Bitscout. In this short video, I wanted to show you how you can extract data from SharePoint uh, files. Uh, hi, I'm Ilya from Bitscout. In this video, I wanted to show you how you can set up automated data extractions from purchase orders that you can load into SharePoint folders. Okay, we're gonna be writing data into Excel, but you can write it into any tool. All right? Now, I have my SharePoint test site here and I have loaded a few examples uh, from previous, uh, previous um, uh, examples that I wanted to show you and we have our, here our purchase order. Now, we need to set up first the trigger. I'm using a trigger when a file is created or modified. In your case, you will be selecting only the trigger when a file is created. You don't need the modified part because I'm using this not to load constantly the files to show you the examples. All right? Now, the site address in this case has to be the full SharePoint address of your uh, site. And then inside of this uh, site, you have a library name and this is what you have to choose. Okay, so this is my site and uh, this is Bitscout test is my library. Now, it will get us only information about the file. Now we need the whole content. And to do that, we need an extra step in um, uh, in Power Automate Flow, which is called get file content using path. Okay, and then we need to choose the full path and the file path. To do that, let me show you how. You, you just click here and then you see a pop-up called dynamic content and you type in a search field the word full and you will see the full path. Do not choose anything else, it will not work. So only full path is, uh, should be used here. The next step is adding a BitScout step. We have a direct action called extract data from purchase order. It means that you don't have to set up any plugins. And here you need to choose the file URL. To do that, you need to click on the line on the input field. A pop up uh, dynamic content will appear. Click on expressions and type here an expression base64 and open brackets. And inside of the brackets, you need to choose the file content from a previous step, like this. Okay. So now we have everything ready and then the next step is adding a row to a table and you just map the data from a previous step. Okay, um, I'm just going to add some information, with, but you can map everything that you need here. Okay, save it. Let's run a test. Okay, I'm going to use a manual trigger. So in, in my case for the test, I will just change the file name, but in your case, you will probably need to load the file into the folder that you have specified and uh, to see the results. Okay, so now our flow will start running. Okay, and the data will appear here. So this is my previous test from invoices. Okay, so here it is. All right, so you can map all, uh, all the rest of the fields that you need. But in, in this case, um, this is the whole flow that you need to automate uh, data extraction from your purchase orders. Thanks a lot for your time.